Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we're going to do some maintenance and then we're going to have a little bit of a discussion, a little conversation um, as to why I believe that we should do our own maintenance as owner operators. So comment down below what your thoughts on that are and uh, stay tuned for some more. Well, we are trying out the new camera is what we're doing. Um, don't know if we're recording and saving onto my phone or if we're recording on the SD card. Not sure. Okay. The blustery, hot, late September day. We're going to do some greasing today. We might wash the truck. I wash something else. Let me just step on a piece of trash. What a what a surprise. We might wash it too. Definitely needs greased. Um, although I'm gonna grease it again next week, but it's just been so long that I since I've greased it that I just decided it I'm doing it. And you know what it isn't? A waste of time. Definitely is not a waste of time. Um, my power wash the other day, I got a lot of the grease cake off of the different spots that I grease here in the front end. You actually can see the Zerks fairly well. It's probably going to be easier for me to see uh, when I've completed grease. I didn't get everything, as you can tell. Um, oh well. Oh, I do need to grease literally everything, so we'll be climbing underneath. I'm just perusing everything, seeing if I have any terrible messes anywhere. I might, hmm, I probably can get it from the other side. That Zerk was going to be a problem, if you're wondering. That's what I'm looking at right now. I have it on a grassy spot, so it should be easy for me to climb underneath to get those one, couple on the bottom. Definitely need to grease the fifth wheel. You think? Huh? Man, doesn't she look so much cleaner? I, obviously she's dirty. I mean cleaner without all the extra junk on the back here. She looks so much better without that. I'm still, I wanna get rid of this. It rubs and I need to get get some rivets and it's ugly so if I figure out look at these these rivets are just regular rivets as you can see they're not hooked they're not this style I think that I could fake these into looking like these if I um, put a little filler on them it doesn't need to, I mean this, this <laughs> It's not going to be perfect. I mean, it's got ugly stuff all over the place, but I just, I want to get rid of all these brackets. I want it to be clean. Brackets in the top. Those, all those brackets. Um, I don't know what this thing is. I wish I could get rid of that, get rid of that too, but yeah, I want to get rid of all of that. Um, get it all cleaned up nice and then get the boss. Up on there. All right, I need to get some gloves and such, and then we're gonna get to work. You guys may be wondering, how am I holding you hands free? Well, guess what? I finally went out and got myself a GoPro. So that's what you're watching on right now, and you can see everything. I had to start up the truck. And uh, adjust my steering here so I could get the top and the bottom of the. Why do I always forget it when I get on camera? I forget everything when I get on camera. Drag link. That's what I was going for. Alright, that's greased good. I can see grease coming out. 
on the back side. The one time I, I tried to replace this once and actually put this back together because Freightliner gave me the wrong part, which is rather annoying. I never went back and and uh, actually did anything about it because, well, I, repl I returned it, but it's really not loose. So I just never replaced it. Just keep it nice and greased. I did replace the tie rods. Okay. Gloves are nice up until a point. Once they get grease on them, like I have on mine right now, they're completely useless. Okay, yeah, because I don't have a camera, I can stick my head down here. Ah, yeah. Grease is coming out. Gross. You guys can watch me make a mess here. I'll come back and clean it up, don't worry. Don't, don't you fret. Don't you frown. Every once in a while I can clean up my mess. Put a few pumps in there. I don't overdo that one. I don't want grease in my brakes. Can you guys see all the way to the back? Hope so. This one I'm gonna I'm gonna pump good and full. Coming out the front, not really coming out the back that much. Can I see him coming out the back? I'm gonna let it come out. Of... Oh yeah, that's good. I can see it. Out of the top one. My battery's running out on my on my uh, grease gun. Thankfully, I got the other one charging. fun ones. I'm sure you can still see me down the bottom. Well, because it's a GoPro and it's wide angle. If not, you just get to listen to me talk. How exciting. Had a lot of videos like that lately. With the GoPro, hopefully we can change that. And we can get a little more involvement in what's going on. Not too much. Nothing crazy. I'm not going to stick the camera in, a, in people's faces, but this one, this one, the, um, the seal for the cap of the kingpin leaks, so I'm getting a bunch of grease coming back out, but I just let it go until I can see it coming out of the top. I got a huge glob of grease right here. Got to go take care. Ah! Where is... I'm trying not to let this drop on anything. Thankfully I got a rag right here. There we go. A little better. Still, I, I, I make mess every time I grease my truck. I hate it. find it to be basically impossible to not. There you go. To not gre get grease all over everything. Like I've said before, I am that guy. And yes, a lot of times I do use the wrong tool. And yes, sometimes I do make things more difficult on myself, but 
I guess that's part of living and learning. It's what we try to do every day. All right, let's go to the other side. This side obviously should be easier. Y'all can get a different view this time. Adjust you down. No idea if you can see. No idea. I can't see. Oh, okay. You probably just saw me looking weird into the camera. This one. This has gotten spun around, so it's facing the wrong direction, but I still can get in there. Plenty of grease coming out. A few pumps in there. Now I get a close-up view of my bald head. That's exciting, right? I'm sure I'm not the only one. Ooh. Who's around this channel that's bald? Or balding? Y'all can't see this one. This is the front of the leaf spring. Front leaf spring bushing. I got it popping out. Let's go do the rears. And then we'll climb down underneath and get the bottom of the kingpin and uh, tie rod end. That's after we push a bunch of grease through this. I'm paranoid about these leaf spring bushings. Dust for the grease everywhere. All right, it's pushing out the close side. The rear is caked more, so I can't tell. So we see it coming out the back. She's taking a lot of grease today. Are y'all bored yet? Where's my grease? All coming out the back not coming out the front so i don't really like that but i'm gonna have to clean that up when i get done there's a bunch of grease out the back side that i could not see looks like that grease zerk is dying okay to the bottom we go my favorite part i already have grease on me guys Look at that. Oh. All right. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Can you see me up there? All right. Let's do the kin kingpin first. Oh, I hear it pop. I can see the grease moving. There we go. That was easy. You know, I, I forgot to do the tie rod end on the other side. I'm an idiot. I'm going to go do that. Y'all don't have to come with me. This one was quick. 
like I say, that's a relatively new tie rod end. So, it makes sense. Okay. I'm not going to record everything down here because it's hard to maneuver. Zerk. And then my favorite one. Y'all can come with me and see if you can see. That one right up in there. We gotta get that one next. This is another one of my favorite spots to be in. We're all the way underneath the truck, and right now, I don't actually need to grease from the bottom. I might do this end from the bottom. I'm gonna get this one from the top. There is a zerk here. Yeah, the zerk is up here in a better position for me to get from the top. The reason why I'm here it's not necessarily to grease it, is because uh, it's important. It's important to check, make sure I don't got no play. That would be good. Sure. <laughs> Get dirt in the mouth. Wait a second. Okay. I might need to set you down for a second to see if I can get a better better view with oh you're gonna fall over. Uh, hold on. Okay, yeah. Okay guys. Um I did find that 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 uh U joint is is bad. It's got play in it. Just a tiny bit. Just a little bit, but you we're gonna chat about that in a little minute. In a minute, one I found something else though. So, look at this bushing. Looks pretty good there. Doesn't look terrible there. Sorry, this is actually the other side. So, this not, side's not terrible, but this side over here, this is the driver's side. Um, it looks the same on the outside, but look how squashed that is these are the ones I did not replace I replaced my front uh, drive axle ones six months ago but look at the top there assuming you can see that it is cracked and toast it's toast definitely bad that's got to be on the list the reason why it has to be on the list very quickly is because I plan on getting an alignment, but I ain't gonna do an alignment until after I get these replaced, you know? And I got my trip coming up, so I wanna do my my alignment before the trip. By trip, I mean to Oklahoma City. Um, I want it done before then, and that's gonna be coming up a week or two. So basically, I got to get on this. At the latest, I need this done next Saturday. So, I got some work to do. Hold on a second, and we're going to have a, a conversation. So let's have a conversation. Um, I think this is my one of my biggest advice for owner-operators, people who are thinking about being an owner-operator, or it doesn't really matter how long you've been an owner operator i've watched some videos recently of guys who are owner operators and thinking of expanding fleets but for the most part they don't do their own maintenance and that comes to back to bite you so that i don't know that's one of my biggest things and that's one of the biggest things i'm going to preach i'm not saying that i do better job at maintaining my vehicle than anybody else in fact i probably do a worse job but i do it myself and the reason why I do it myself, it'd be so much easier if I didn't. Um, the reason why I do it myself is because when I'm down under there doing the grease job, I find things. And when you do it that way, when you when you when you nitpick your truck, when you're rolling around on the ground or underneath there greasing it, you find things early that don't turn into bigger problems. Um, like I said. I'm not trying to be prideful. I just, I have learned this the hard way with other trucks. 
and so I <laughs> I don't want other people to make the same mistakes that I've made and I found that U joint soon enough that I can run I can run another week and be fine but now I have the opportunity to during the week I can run to a Freightliner and I can get the right part and I don't have to be in a rush I can just do it when I'm going in and out of of uh, um, an area that has parts um, man that's such a big deal being able to catch that not having it self-destruct and self-destruct and destroy a yoke um, I'm glad I caught the bushing because you can't see it from the outside you see it from the inside is where it's cracked I wouldn't have found that if I hadn't crawled into the vehicle and greased it under there I wouldn't have found it and I would have got an alignment done and maybe he would have found it maybe he wouldn't have either way I would have been wasting time because I would have aligned a truck that had parts that were broken and well or he would have checked alignment charged me for it most likely and then I wouldn't have been able to do the alignment because I got a bushing out and it it means there's play and it means <clears throat> the geometry is going to be off because those rubber bushings um, are going to be true rather than squashed completely so that is that is my that's going to be my soapbox <laughs> do your own maintenance or at least grease it greasing it's it doesn't take any technical skill to grease your truck no technical skill at all it's just a willingness to crawl around in the dirt that's what it is. And you can do it if, I don't know, if you're an over-the-road truck driver and you're in the parking lot, you can do it in the parking lot on pavement and not get dirty. And it's, I, I understand that some people have more difficulty getting into a truck than others. And that, that's, there's, I understand that there's exceptions to this rule. But, man. My second truck, my Kenworth T800. Um, the one that was a lease purchase, not through any company I was with, because you guys know I was never with a company. I was always with myself. That was through OTR leasing. And um, that truck I had somebody else do the maintenance on. And I had wheel seals that went out that I probably, it, obviously you do a pre-trip inspection and you look at stuff like that, but I would have caught it sooner for sure, if I had been crawling underneath there to do my maintenance. I would have. I, I know I would have. And that's just one example of times where I would have, would have where I would have done that. It would have paid off. So I should stop talking now, but that's my preaching for the day. Do your own maintenance. It will save you time and money. I promise. Doesn't sound like it because you're you're doing it yourself and you're using your time. But it's going to save you from stopping on the on the road um, and having to stop at a shop and wait in the line and <laughs> take a risk. Personally, I think anytime you put your truck into a TA or uh, any of those big truck stop uh, shops I don't know I think you're taking a risk um, anyway that's a different soapbox that we're not gonna get on <laughs> we're gonna end this video right here thanks for watching today guys not that much action but maybe uh, I'm not gonna say I'm an expert in everything but I do know for sure that you should do at least some of your own maintenance so comment down below what you think about that if you do your own maintenance are there th some things you're willing to uh, pay someone else to do you know all those things 
Some people might d disagree with me. If you have a good shop doing your maintenance that you trust, that you know goes through all these things, okay. But a TA, I do not trust to check my bushings when they're crawling around, they're greasing it. They're not looking at that. They're trying to get you out as soon as possible. So th there are exceptions to this rule, but for the most part, I think you still should do your own ma maintenance, um, at least greasing. If nothing else, you have a better, more intimate relationship with your truck, which is what you should have. So thanks for watching. Again, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. We'll see you on the next one.